and I love stocks. Well, today we're going to do another video on space. SPCE. What a great run it had again today. Remember, I'm calling this a bullish bearish trade. And we're going to take, and first thing we're going to do is pull up the website, the vision. Where are we heading? Well, talked about a little bit about this. He wanting to launch people into space for like a miniature vacation. And I just think it's a wonderful operation. So I admire Richard Branson, and we're going to go right to the news today. Just kind of want to run through, mill through the news here and see what they've got, anything special. Now, Tesla gold or the dollar soars. Let me see. We've got Virgin Galactica shares up 200% so far this year. we got another one here. This is a wild market. Some investors favor Tesla and Virgin Galactica over Apple and Amazon. Well, it makes a lot of sense. It's called about forward guidance, new ideas, new explorations, Star Trek. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, Virgin Galactica stock is beating Tesla. I'm not sure about that. I think that might be a misprint right there. Can't really compare the two. But they are, you know, the only thing you can compare them is as as looking like into the future. And I think that's about it that I want to look at right now. And we'll go straight to the chart. But just by the sediment, the market's kind of surprised that it's up so high being a a speculative trade instead of, you know, it's it's a technical trade. And there's a lot of people watching this stock right now. So we're going to pull up. We're going to pull up the year first. Well, let's pull up the last three months, and you can see where this thing's been in the last three months. We've had a pretty good little run. She did pull back to around 690, and she laid flat for for almost a week and a half, and then all of a sudden started turning green. I got a TTM trend chart here, and these are my nine my 34 and my 200 EMAs and right now I had a low support down here at 2025 but let's pull up the uh, 20 day and have a look at the 20 day you can see the kind of run it, that it has had even from the $15 level when it touched down and hit this 200 on the 20 day it bounced right up created kind of that triple top breakout and then she's been off to the races here for the last week and a half and then we had the big run yesterday and we're going to pull this up where she kind of just started taking off right after hours and just ran all the way up and then had that big breakout up to 38.74 and then pulled back the rest of the day. Now this is on an hour chart and then you can see the same kind of thing going on pre-market. You notice that the bulls were still on it and I'm saying this is a bullish bearish trade because everybody's looking at it and everybody's going to play it when that tape starts to stall a little bit they're going to be wanting to short this stock but right into the end of the day and we're going to pull that up now in a five day five minute let's go ahead i've got this pretty well chalked up because i was calling it out all day today in the room the stock itself and we're going to pull up the daily one minute you can see we had that great run and then the shorts came in, we had that lower high, and she went ahead and pulled on back and hit that support level that I had here at 28.71. And then she went ahead and she's bounced on up pre-market, pulled back to this 30.208 that I called in the room, the consolidation. I said, this might be re starting to reverse. And then it had this big pop and it pulled back and it was kind of, you know, the bears were, were, were fighting it all the way along. This is a daily one minute. As you can see, the bears came in right at open, pulled it back to 32, and then we bounced on up and created a little resistance right here from the previous high that we had pre-market at 34.71. And then she pulled back to 33, and I called that out in the room, and she bounced on up 33.80, had a lower high, and then we started a little trend right here. And I pointed that trend out in the room and also pulled it when I thought it was going to start selling off. So we had a little trend all the way to here. It's right about there. And when when she had that last break, it looked like a higher high, so this could have gone up higher and higher and higher. 
usually I don't say get out of a trade until we see a lower high which we saw right here and then that was time to go ahead and exit the plan she did pull back to the trend line kind of consolidated a little bit and then ran up and followed that trend line and then all of a sudden it didn't take long five minutes and started selling off pretty hard and I took my eye off of it because I was scalping Tesla today Tesla was easy to scalp so then she went ahead and ran back up to that resistance line again that we had here at 3389 pulled back to support again at 3327 and then right into close she really started taking off we had that pull back here to 3327 and I thought it was going to go ahead and consolidate and then all of a sudden we had this big break into close I don't quite understand people people are wanting to get in this trade and I don't know if this was the fear of losing out or not, but we did hit a resistance up here of 39.90. I got a 39.59 resistance. And what I want to see maybe tomorrow is for this thing. It might break out again, but I bet you there's going to be a lot of people wanting to take profit in this. And there might be some that are going to try to short it if they can, if they can find the shares. But she went ahead and... I got three different supports. I got the previous peak right here at 36.37. It's going to be my third support. Anything below that's going to probably be a strong buy. Then you got the second support right here. Now this can vary. I got a little channel right in here at 37.41 to 37.56. I'll go ahead and put that in there. Change that up. I want to have this in here just in case. And then I'm going to go ahead and shadow that in. That's just going to be an idea where I may think it could retrace bounce. So we're going to fix that right there. Turn this blue so I can see it. Can't see that gray very well. So that's going to be my second support. Then that first one's going to be here at 38.12. Now it can't pull back there. It, it probably pulled back a little bit more into close. I'm not for sure. 36, 38, 37, 41 to 37, 56 for the second support. And at 200 days, also going to be a support on a daily one minute if you're watching that 200 day. And then that first one here is at 38, 12 with a resistance to break of 39 and a target of $50. So if, you know, I'd be looking at maybe the, uh, let me see here. Look at space. Go to the 28th. It could be a scalper play. Might be a good scalper to play. That's what I kind of did with Tesla today. In and out. I'd be probably looking right down here at the $40 strike in the money. Or even take it all the way down to the $50 spot right down here and maybe in between. But being in the money, I think, right here would be a nice call, especially if it pulled back. I'm going to be patient with it and let it come to me. But I'm thinking maybe right around that 37 for a scout play tomorrow. And then we go into like maybe the 28th. And you could go long on this too. You could probably go all the way to April. But go into next week i think the bulls are, and bears are still going to be fist fighting up and down and anytime that the bears can step in they'll be able to get into the trade so on the 28th i might be looking down here right around the 40 dollars strike again or even pull it down here to the 50 you know i kind of like that 50 there too and we'll just say how how it goes tomorrow but i bet you a lot of people will be looking at that 50 dollars strike and if this is anything like the way Tesla run all the way up, you might be able to get down here at 58 on the 28th and get it at a cheaper price. So you have a couple options there. And this is going to be space. So let's look back at the chart one more time. And can't tell you how much I love stocks. So we got the low support at 36.37 I want to hold. The second support area is going to be this 37.41 to 37.56. The first one here, I said the second and the first one's at 38.12. And then resistance to break is going to be 39.59 with a $40 strike and a $50 strike. And that is it. 
you know, appreciate it if you subscribe and ring that bell for future updates and also we have our little website here you can hit that little twitter bird right there follow us on uh, twitter and we post a lot of alerts in there on a daily basis and we also have our little um, stock twits accounts hit that follow button miss vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis and i scalped that tesla twice today man that was beautiful them golden trades come in that's the time to start jumping in on the trade tesla did take a pretty good little shot there at the end of the day and then you also got my little account here hit that follow button follow me on stock twits we really admire this website we post a lot of alerts in here here i've got space in here at my support levels giving a little bear a little hard time on tesla today i took this trade right here scalped the fish hook pattern on tesla got in at the bottom so right here at my resistance level you can see that little resistance level and she started pulling back a little bit if i'd have held that trade i think i could have got a, about another 300 dollars out of it but there's my tesla calls and you know i was all over this i did a video on space you can watch it in order to just hit the website here we have a lot of videos on here that you might want to watch too i've been talking about i'm going to be putting out a lot of tesla and a lot of space videos here and then we do our sunday report sometimes vegas and i get together on the weekdays and talk about stocks too for the next day and that's it for i love stocks have a great day Thank you.